Hey guys, what's up? Blowfish here from Blowfish Cinema, and I'm going to do a quick or long tutorial on color correction because I've seen a lot of videos out there, even montages, that could use uh, a little bit of color correction, a little bit of color changes, and it would really improve the post-production aspect of your footage. So first, let's go into what color correction is. Um, basically, color correction is taking your dull colors and really bringing out the contrast, saturations, and filling the whole spectrum so that you get a quality output. Now every single uh, video movie you see at a higher level is going to have color correction to make it look uh, like a quality piece. So right here I, I have a uh, quick clip I took and it looks alright because Black Ops is a high quality game but if you really want to make it make it uh, top quality what you're going to need to do is analyze your footage. By analyzing footage what I mean is uh, take a look at your footage and decide what kind of color there is. Right now we got a lot of warm colors, lots of yellows, lots of oranges. So to fill out the spectrum, to compensate that, we want to switch it up, make it a little bit cooler. So to do that we go to color correction and I already have a preset but this one's called cool mids and basically what I'm doing is there's three spectrums here, the lows, the mediums, and the highs. The lows you're really gonna mess up your footage so I like to keep that in the middle. The highs same idea, you can have a little bit more leeway with them, but still you're going to change a lot. The mid is where you're going to want to do most of your changes. So right here we got a lot of warm. To compensate that, you can bring it down to the blues. You don't want to go too far though, because that, that'll ruin your clip. But if you go right about here, what you're going to see is it really brings a lot more into your footage. If we switch this off, you can see that really makes a difference. And also, um, just to prove what color correction really does, I'll do a quick sample for you here. If we copy this, paste it up here, go ahead and turn off this color correction. You know, I'm going to go ahead and add a quick uh, soft contrast. We'll get to this into this in a bit, but uh, I just want to show you guys the kind of power that color correction can have on your footage. So I'm just going to do a quick mask here. And uh, Check this out. The footage on the right is the original and the footage on the left is the new. Now as you can see there there isn't an, a monumental change here but the difference in color, the difference in balance is huge. And if you apply this to all your footage it's going to have a lot better aspect. So now let's get into the different kinds of uh, color correction there is. In Sony Vegas there's a lot of programs that can do this. I prefer Sony Vegas and After Effects. Um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be using Sony Vegas. Uh, the primary one you're going to be using is Color Corrector. And as I was just doing with the cools there, you can start out and really just mess around with your footage to get a nice balance. Um, in terms of this clip, I said go cool. Now you could try to go a little bit warmer if you like. And there's a few tricks you can also do. You can splice your footage which would mean taking one dial up and taking the other dial in the opposite direction. It can create some really nice contrast. So to do that, we could bring this down. Bring this down here. Bring the highs, make them warm. Bring the mids down here. And then we can take the lows, even make them a little bit purple to really uh, bring out that those contrasts. So as you can see, really just messing around with your foot is what you want to be doing. Another kind of color correction uh, that can create that kind of post-apocalyptic -apoc uh, looks a lot of people are going for with the really blown out brights, the really dark darks. Uh, you can use the color curves and I have one here and all you really want to be doing is messing around with the uh, with the different reds, greens, and blues. And as you can see, I got the warms really high and I took down the cools. Now as you can see, that's pretty, uh, the warms are really blown out. You're not going to want to publish a video with those. So to compensate that, what we can do is go on down to uh, saturation adjust. And this allows you to mess with the saturation. But what you can really do is 
blow out the br blow out the warms, uh, take down the cools, and then kind of blend them all together again. And so it's like separating something and then crunching it back together. And as most people would think, it give you the same result as you started out with. But in terms of this project uh, or all footage in general, it creates kind of a nice contrasty look. This is the original footage. There's a lot of grays, uh, not really a, diver a diverse piece of footage. But when you apply color curves and saturation, it rips it apart and brings it back together. So with saturation, um, the highs are going to control how much is toned down on the high end. The lows, you're not really going to notice much of a difference. And then the amount, of course. So that takes care of that. And then uh, also what you can do is to really finish off your footage, you can add a small vignette, or in Sony Vegas it's called a soft contrast. Uh, we can start out with, uh, let's go ahead and start out with a cool. So what this is going to do is it's really going to pop out the contrast. And for most people that's a little bit too much. So you can go ahead and tone this down. Um, but what you should really be focusing on is the vignette portion which you can really tone up and it makes it really centralizes your footage makes the viewer focus on the middle and if you bring this up too much it's going to look silly um, of course if you take down the softness it's going to make it I don't know I don't really like that look so I like to tone, bring the softness up all the way bring the strength down to about 60 ish and that really that's a quality piece of footage as you can see this is what we started out with. There's a lot of the colors don't really contrast each other nicely, but when you apply the soft contrast, uh, you get a nice vignette. The saturation tones down all the colors, and the color curves brings it back up. So all I can really say is, what you really want to be doing is messing around with your color corrector, your color curves, your saturation adjustment, and your soft contrast, and really try to match the whole spectrum. If you blow out the warms too much the viewer is going to get kind of sick of that warm look. Like this look throughout the entire video, you know, people aren't really going to be liking it that much. So try to try to mess around with that stuff a lot. Um, all I can say is have fun color correcting your footage and really make sure to put the time and effort into it because it really changes the outcome of your final piece and makes it pretty awesome. So thanks for joining me today. This is Blowfish from Blowfish Cinema. And please leave in the comments below what you want a tutorial on in the future.